Jose Mourinho, future England manager, question mark. Jose admitted he was... Huh? Why did I say question mark, innit? <laughs> I'm losing <laughs> Yeah, free ball. Let's go, champ. I'm not talking on my team. What's that all about? What's that all about? I'm not talking on my team. <laughs> What's good people, it's Crepton Conan. We are here with Gaffer at the Sports Direct flagship store for the final episode of After Hours. And for the final show, of course, we've got to bring the heat, the young fire. Our first guest is one of the techiest young English football players about right now. Yes. We just mashed up the Premier League. Emil, my brother, what are you saying? I'm good, bro, I'm good. Alongside Ems, we've got one of the biggest hip hop duos around. My bro, Zhang Tia Mugzi, what's well, going on? Not in his very own. What are you not saying, bro? You lot all right? Yeah, yeah. Hey. You support different teams? Yeah. Yeah, bro. What's that about? No, man's a good. gunner, innit? Man's a, man's, man's a gunner still, obviously. Gunner? My oh, bro's, he's right man here. Manu. Come yeah, on, man. Manu. Man. Man. Yeah, Manu, so man. Manu, man. said top seed. Yeah, yeah, We're going to read out some things to you lot about the Euros. We're going to show you pictures and you lot let us know if it's a mood or if it's moody. moody. You yeah. get me? Stormzy's England fan promise. You hear about that one? <laughs> yeah. Last yeah, week, yeah. Storms watched England at Box Park Croydon wearing a Jack Grealish jersey and jumping on the tables. <laughs> he also promised some guys that if England won, he would join them at their house afterwards. Yeah, and I've then he that. stuck to his promise. Yeah. yeah. Is that a mood? That's a big mood. Yeah, that's a big oh, mood. That's a big, big mood, isn't it? One of his words. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Jose Mourinho, future England manager, question mark. Jose admitted he was, huh? Why did I say question mark, innit? <laughs> I'm losing <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <mad. laughs> uh, Jose admitted he was singing It's Coming Home all week and has previously said he'd manage England. Would you like to see him take over the England squad? I can't even lie, I'm alright with Gareth. It's a bit moody for me. It's moody. Still. Moody. What yeah, do you think? Well right it's a bit moody, man. Stop changing. Come and mash up the pattern, innit? Yeah, yeah, just mess it up. Do you know what I mean? Just do that. I was <laughs> The face don't want that. The face, <laughs> you know what I mean? The face is jarring me. You're really making bad decisions with his face, I can see. <laughs> Henderson made his England debut all the way back in 2010 and he scored his first goal in his 62nd international appearance against Ukraine. Do you think he's one of the most underrated players around? I think it's took a while, but I think he does get his credit now. So I think yeah. he's, he's proved that he's a all-round solid player. Like, he's really, really solid. Like, you can not you can actually count on him type of thing, innit? So... No, same, bro. Mood. But it's, it's a big mood. I know what it's like to score your first goal, you know? Because so, <laughs> he's waited so long as well. Big mm. mood, man. It's supposed to be the country's golden generation, but having lost in the semi-finals of the World Cup and now the quarter-finals, how many more tournaments do you think this Belgian team can do it for? Did they underachieve? This wasn't for them this time, right? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you know what I mean, but... saying moody. Oh, Shut it's a bit moody Yeah, it's a bit moody, moody man. Yeah, I'm just on the England thing right now, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I definitely it. hear that. You know what I'm saying? Moody. It's a bit moody, yeah. man. <laughs> Paul Pogba, Burner Boy, Link Up. After exiting the Euros with France, Paul Pogba has linked out with Burner Boy to celebrate his birthday. Is the duo up there with the best football music link-ups around? Is Miami the vibe? Yeah, that's, that's, a, really. that's, a, that's a big link-up still. I seen a video of them yeah, earlier in, 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 in Miami, you know, in Miami, <laughs> skanking up and that. So shout, said, Miami, shout out Miami, Miami the vibe, yeah? Yeah, yeah man. man. I ain't even been there yet, but mm -hmm. look like the vibe from that vid. <laughs> 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 Lorenzo Insigne's low socks. The Italian forward has been one of the stars of the tournament. He's also one of the leaders of the low sock wearing bowlers. Is the low socks like Grealish a vibe? Does it make a player look a bit more swaggy with it? I'm having it all day. I wear my socks like that as well, bro. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a mood. That's a big yeah, no, move. That's a mood then. That's a mood then. That's, that's a, a drink. Is it high or that's a bit low then? That's bro. low, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, see, some, some guys, player, some guys like the high ones, isn't it? But mm. yeah. his ones like, like by his knees, stuff. isn't it? You like the low ones, yeah. yeah I like the high I'm kind of on a high team, me. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, like, you're the pro bowler, isn't it? Not <laughs> me, but you know what I'm saying? I'm on a high team with tape. If I'm, I'm, if I'm on a Sunday team, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or a Tuesday <laughs> team, it's got to be the tape silver. So you know what I mean? I say no more. So what? Big mood or mood? Still a big mood. Yeah, still big mood. Still big mood. Football fans raised more than 35 and a half grand for the German film Crying After England's Victory. We've all seen this. Is it a bit mad, unnecessary, or a legit thing to do? Like but like, why, but why are we giving her bread though? Because she was, she was crying? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm about. Yeah. Bring my little nephew and yeah, make yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's going on, isn't it? Yo, man's got a family. Little change. Yeah, I mean, did she get the bread though? Did she get the bread? 
Boy, Little you know what? Five bags, she's calm. It's a bit, it's, it's a bit moody still. It's a bit moody, man. You think it's a, a bit, bit moody? Yeah. Think Wait, hold moody. on. I think it's a bit moody to give her that much bread. The Italian manager has his very own custom Richard Mill, RM, 1104, tailored to his national team's colours. What are we saying about this? Big, yeah, no. Uh, that's, that's a big, big move, move, isn't it? Big that's a big, big move. move. Yeah. That's a big move. That's a big move. Still, What's that, um, Italian thing? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Next thing. That's, that's a, a big move. move. Yeah. He's flexing on the other managers. The new Adidas semi Final and final, uniforia ball. Yes, How are we rating yeah, it? That looks hard. I mean, yeah. that's hard. Big that's 2004 hard. Yeah. energy. Yeah, that's it hard. Looks shiny still. still. Yeah, it still. It looks shiny, innit? <laughs> <laughs> what tournament ball shiny. would you say is the best ever? Oh, what's that one where it's like, I think it's a Adidas thing and it's like, looks like an eight. Oh, that Jubilee one. Is that what it is? The World Cup one. Is that what it is? I think that it's that it is? one, it's yeah. like an eight. Yeah. yeah. That's my that's team. I was going to say that as well. That's my team. That's what I remember. Yeah, no, you probably remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Em? No, I was going to say the same. same yeah, I knew you yeah, was thinking yeah. about that one, so. The Euro 2020 trophy. We want to look at the trophy itself. We know it's a mood, True. but how do we rate the actual design of the trophy compared to others? I think it looks sick, man. You, you like this? Yeah, man. See if you can hold it like that. I feel like it needs more bits, man. I don't know about that one, like you know. It needs more bits. I, feel I don't like know. That bit needs to be a What's bit that quality thing on it? Yeah. There's no like ribbons. Like a or something. There's no ribbons. The handles yeah, ain't I team handles. Yeah. <laughs> <Really? laughs> I said they're not team handles. They're <laughs> 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 cursey handles still. You've got to have a few Rex arms. I have Me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. Now it's time to take it upstairs for the final challenge and see. If M's Young T and Bugsy can take the final <laughs> top spot. We're here in a Sports Direct boot room and this part of the show is called Round the Clock Challenge. You have to hit the 15 targets in the quickest time. If you miss, it adds an extra second on. Who wants to go first, my guys? Aye, you set it, man. Aye. 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 All right, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. You saying he's not next? I'm just just step in still, right? Let's go, bro. You, bro. bro. All right, let's go. You ready? Okay. Wow. Yeah, it could be a good time, you know? It's feeling like it. Ah! 20. 20. 20.8. Not bad. Oh, he was getting. Not bad. Look, I was doing good, <laughs> didn't I? Look, like I was doing good. Not bad, good not, bad, not bad, not bad. You're, You're looking time. like a tie. Hey. Nice time, yeah? Shit. OK, I see that the protectors, they just yeah. walk around. <laughs> Ah, ah, straight, straight yeah. warrior. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go, Jim. I want to see that, right? Yeah, bicycle, bicycle. <laughs> no, chill. Yeah, free ball. Let's go, champ. I'm not talking on my team. What's that all about? What's that all about? I'm not talking on my team. I'm not talking on my team. I said, let's go, Jim. I'm not talking about free balls and that. I'm like, talking about pressing triangle oh, and I'm thinking he's there, like... Oh, damn. What did he get? 22. 22, man. You know what it is? I was ready to come and get redemption, but you see the Oi. way my body feels right now? I know, I see you got the boots on, my brother. Redemption? Let's go, Cones, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, Cones. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I oh, fuck this man. <laughs> Yo, I'm tired, fam. I'm not gonna lie, man. You see what it is? It's like I feel my body giving in, bro. My knees are seizing. It's mad, fam. Yeah, it's uh, lit anyway. You don't know the man them come and done their thing. Yeah, let's bring in the scores, man. At fifth place, Ooh. Emil Rowe. Make some noise for Emil Rowe. Come on, fifth place. It makes sense. It makes sense, only right. I don't know. Nineteen point five that. seconds <laughs> in joining. With Abracadabra of 20.8, okay. we have my main man Bugsy right here. Make some noise. Make some noise, Bugsy. 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 Make some noise,
Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. And here we have Kwana Kwe Kwe down, 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 down. Here. And a Kwe Kwe Young one. T with 22, 22 21 seconds. Man. I can't, yeah. Make some Try, man. Take it, take it. My guy, my guy, my guy. This is where me and Conan find out about how the brightest stars across music and football operate and see things differently. Who's been the greatest mentor in you lot's career? I think our first true mentor on our musical journey is probably T's cousin. Yeah. yeah. That's what I yeah. say, T's cousin. Yeah. That's yeah. what Darren. Yeah. cousin, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. he used to help... Um, Just look after us. Yeah. Facilitate what we're trying Facilitate, to do. Yeah. Facilitate yeah. what we're trying to do. And yeah. I feel like he... It was, it was a big help and it was a big help. Managers are looking like what not man. Yeah, 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 different stages. What, 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 stages. What, 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 what meant not what? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Ams? Probably my mum and dad, to be fair. Like, obviously, they've, they've been everywhere with me, taking me to training and stuff. So, yeah, they've helped me with everything. So, yeah. I'd, I'd have to give it to them, to be fair. My mum like and dad. So what would you say is your most slept on song and why? I'd say on route, me. You say on route? I say on route. We've got a song called School Trip. Yeah. We dropped our mixtape. It was just at the start of COVID, innit? Yeah. So it was kind of, we wasn't able to promote our mixtape the way that it should have been to, done, yeah, innit? Of course, you know of course. I mean, yeah. but like a lot of people say like, yo, like that song, oh. like is a hard song, innit? And it's just, if we released it at the right time, yeah. it would have been able to get the right exposure, innit? So yeah. it's just, yeah, it you know what I mean? Okay. It's mad that timing's so important. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. important. When was the first time in your life you felt like you made a difference? Obviously when I started first playing with the first team, yeah. I managed to go back to like one of my old teams, like Sunday teams, you know? Yeah. And like just going back there and seeing all the little kids and stuff mm. all coming up to me. I haven't really done anything yet, but mm. they're still coming up to me, wanting me to sign everything and stuff. And you know, just giving back, you know, I felt like someone there, you know, I felt like yeah, a role model yeah. and stuff. So yeah. I'd probably say that was probably one of the first moments. Like we're from Nottingham, innit? Like mm. Nottingham doesn't have a big music scene in it. Mm. So every time we break a barrier within ourselves, we're breaking a barrier for mm. Nottingham, mm. innit? If there was any two artists in the world that you can unite and make a song with, who would you pick? You no, know, the other day I was thinking I want to make a song with Rihanna. Yeah, I want to make a song with Rihanna because <laughs> like, she hasn't made music in time, innit? A song, a song with Rihanna and Wizkid would be hard. Yeah. Ooh. Us, Rihanna and Wizkid. Oh, that's a vibe. Flavor some that's stuff. That's a vibe, you know. <laughs> that just sounded mad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's that combination. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's a big a vibe. Right. What would you lot say has been your first pinch me moment? One time I was at a show, but the way the people like was moving after was just mad and was walking around the wall and the security was like that. And people were just yeah. moving mad, people like, like they're moving up. Like yeah, that. absolutely. I'm thinking, like, no. Like, why didn't no, you feel like you really <laughs> felt yeah, like yeah, a yeah, superstar? Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, yeah. doing this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I chose And even before that, like, man, I don't show you, you know show. what I'm saying? But yeah. that one, I was like, no, like, why are they actually moving like that? Like? <laughs> On that topic, what's the maddest fan interaction you guys have ever had? <laughs> uh, my just fan it so <laughs> Whatever you thought of, don't say it. <laughs> Whatever made you laugh, just say uh, it. Yeah, there's probably different types, isn't it? There's different types. Sometimes, <laughs> no, there's different types. Sometimes there's like, there's guys, there's, different there's, levels, there's right? the, yeah, different levels. No, I mean like guys that actually... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Backtracks on that one, you know. I remember. <laughs> I've got one big story to be fair. Basically, I gave my shirt to someone after a game. Mm. My Skybox broken. So obviously I've called up Sky now, saying I need a new box. Mm. <laughs> so obviously the guy's come round and he's the one that I gave the shirt to. Oh, wow. So That's a 360 I've, I've en moment. He's ended up coming to my house, sorting out the Skybox and that. And then, yeah, I gave him some boots and another shirt for his, um, his son and stuff. So, yeah, uh, like, so that's, uh, that's proper. Uh, what are the chances, you know what I mean? That's, that's a mad story. That's yeah. What are the odds of that? <laughs> Did he start moving mad, though? Was he yeah, he was like, excited, bro. Like, when I opened the door, he's like, oh, my gosh. Like, yeah, he, he kept like, composure. Yeah, he kept composure. Yeah, he was fixing it. I ain't had no problems since. So it's all good, bro. He's moving nuts with the sky and that. He's gas. You got my man, though. You get me? So that's it for After Hours. Shout out our brothers, M's, Young T and Bugsy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming through. You know we appreciate you lot every time, man.